Welcome to Anchor Brand Ranch. Today is the day before Thanksgiving. The kids are out of school. It's terribly windy and cold, but we're out in the yard trying to get some stuff done anyway. We were hoping for a nice sunny day while they were out of school. They wanted to practice roping and stuff, but instead we're trying to unplug a trough. We've got some problems with the water right here. It's gone dry, so we've got to get this unplugged and get it fixed back going again. This morning the troughs went dry. We got water going in them now. All the fishes are dead. One thing we have got to do today is get this feed truck put back together and get it going. It's not going to be any fun in this cold and this wind. And I know y'all hate, hate to hear that wind blowing in this microphone, so I'll try to do something about that. We got to get to work. We finally have the part that we've been missing. So what we've got, there's a shaft right here that's in between the two augers. There's two augers up in the tub, and they have to be in the correct timing or they'll hang up on each other, the blades will bind up. This timing shaft is tied together back here at the back. This donut looking deal lock bushings inside of there. One of those taper lock bushings is what failed, busted all the pieces and let this timing shaft get the blades out of time and they bound up on each other and caused us a little bit of pain and torture. This right here is the new 42 millimeter, which is hard to find, 42 millimeter taper lock bushing. It came in the mail last night. So we're going to get this thing put back together should be back to feeding with the old red feed truck which will be a real blessing here so let's try to get this lined up get those bushings tightened in there be done with this project okay go slow you can kind of tell by watching that shaft you can see the mark where it was it really, now whoa, whoa, whoa. you got to hit the bushing and all yeah. yep keep going until we see a mark on that shaft where it used to be. Sir! Riley's tightening down the last bolt. This thing's back together. Hopefully it works. It's Thanksgiving Day. We're gonna try out this feed truck to see if we're back in business here. Today's a lot better weather, nice and sunny. Ha, look at these calves come running. They haven't forgot what this big red truck means. It's dinner time, guys. Mama's been slaving all morning. She's got Thanksgiving dinner ready. Everybody else has been out in the yard getting things done out there. We're thankful for nice weather today. Yesterday was windy and miserable, huh? Yeah. Today, everybody's home from school and it's nice weather. Yeah. What else are we thankful for? Sissy, what are you thankful for? We just fed cattle with the feed truck for the first time in how long? We're fighting over the list we're thankful for. <laughs> Here's the list of what we're thankful for. Yes, we just fed with the feed truck for the first time in how long has it been dead? Uh, over a month? Two months, one, month and a half, maybe. So we have nice weather. 
We got the feed truck working today. Everybody's home. Healthy. Yeah. We are ready. And we are ready for dinner. What are you thankful for, Rob? Bunnies. Bunnies? <laughs> Where are those bunnies? Oh, they're right here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> the Anchor Brand Ranch viewers have never met the bunnies. Which one is this? Rudy. Hi, Rudy. Rudy's ears are black. Were they always black? No, his nose and his ears turned black. Yeah, he used to be a snow white bunny. That's why I didn't recognize him. His feet are turning black. That's all right, Rudy. These are some amazing rabbits to have survived around here with as many dogs and kids and coyotes. Rudy and Buck, pretty good bunnies, huh? And Oreo. Oh, we got a new one named Oreo. Do you think Oreo's gonna survive? Like I said, we haven't seen it for a few days, but we think it's still alive. Hopefully Buck and Rudy can show Oreo how to dodge the badgers and coyotes and dogs, huh? <laughs> Ru Rudy and Robbie. <laughs> I'll bet. I'll bet Rudy's thankful for Robbie. Rudy, are you thankful for Robbie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he said yes. Yes. Five point. Four million. Oh my goodness. Please. I swear. <laughs> okay, forget it. I have five dollars. <laughs> okay, so Mama cooked a great Thanksgiving dinner. It's over. No. And now we're all headed back to work. Ram and Riley just took off to go get some cattle out of a trap that we've had set for a few days. And Rio has ended up in a big truck roping in Wickenburg, Arizona. So me and him are about to pull out of here drive five or six hours on a belly full of turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy. So that should be good. We'll be there by bedtime tonight, sleep in the trailer and do some rope and do some winning tomorrow. All right, good luck. Call me after every run. After every run, call your mother. <laughs> I wish I was going. Bye, Mama. Love you, Rio. Bye. Bye, Ryler. Bye. Be good. Take care of all the animals. That's the rig that's going. The Hemi. Ram won it in McAllister, Oklahoma last year. She going to ride all right by herself? I think so. She's got these two Taking just one horse. That's not very normal for us. But, but she's got all the space. She's going to Nada, you got the whole thing to yourself, huh? Oh, I love you. Bye. Off to Arizona. Might have to be driving two trucks home. Might have to sell this one and hitchhike home. We're almost down to the Loves, where Highway 93 meets up with Interstate 15. We're going to grab a little gas and get on the road. The Ford's got right, purple rhino lights on it. Make sure I don't use the green one. This might be normal for some people, but this really is a first for us using gasoline. Now, welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada.
stopped here at a scenic overlook at Hoover Dam. We're going to see what we can see here. That guy has some nice colored pencil drawings of some fish for sale. <laughs> do you need some dolphin drawings, Dad? Uh -huh. Said, so do you need any dolphin drawings? <laughs> he was really a good artist. I know, it was pretty good. I'll give him 10 bucks for a dolphin. Yeah. We're looking down a ditch to the drive. Lake Mead. Be there in another hour. Well, that scenic overlook was a disappointment. Let's get back in the truck and go. My dad had this great idea for me to get up on the hay rack. On this bridge across the Colorado River, there's a really high concrete barricade. You can't ever see over it. So we got Rio up here, got over next to the edge. He's supposed to get us a good picture of the Colorado River, but I think he's a little scared. He's hanging on tight, won't hang the camera over the edge too much. Welcome to Arizona. We're at Kingman, Arizona, getting a little more gasoline. A little different than driving around in those diesel trucks with a big tank <laughs> we're having to stop for gas ever so often but it ain't that big a deal with this small rig we're able to whip into these little old gas stations and get some gas so it's kind of convenient but rio he likes to go inside and get him something to eat anyway we're having a pretty good thanksgiving trip we'll be down to wickenburg at bedtime climb up in that trailer we're gonna be sleeping right there tonight Okay, we made it to Wickenburg, Arizona, to the Rancho Rio Arena. We're going to unload Nada, tie her up, and get her set for the night, and then get some rest. We'll have to wait till the next video to see how this roping goes. Thanks for watching. Anchor Brand Ranch. Ooh, nice.